Andrea Valderrama has juggled the pandemic with a smile. One baby, one baby, two baby, I love you. A little time with friends, a lot of time with family. I always pose the question to myself of what would I want my daughter? Shattered, uh, it shows the history of women in politics and what they had to face in their efforts to get into office. Um, and it touches on the history of you know, these women and, and, the, and what they face in, in the political structure and the corruption within the political system. It touches on each and every one of their stories. So in some stories, you have a woman of color dealing with the prejudices that she faced. Um, in some women, they're being perceived in these stereotypical ways. If they project power in the same way a man does, it could be seen as negative in a woman, where it's seen as positive in a man. And they show how, you know, they, they, there has to be this cautiousness about how you act in this space, which is completely unfair. And it shows how women in politics that are at the helm of politics, certain issues are addressed more um, readily because these are issues that women think about more readily, like gun control and paid maternity leave and a lot of Issues that are women-led are, are centered around family planning and access to education and are generally leaning towards human rights, where sometimes with men, it can be more leading towards economic structures um, as opposed to thinking about the human impact on some of those decisions. And I think overall, what I gleaned from this documentary is, is encouraging more women to get into politics and making us aware of what the women who are in politics have had to go through so that we have a further appreciation for, you know, their plights. And it also maybe will encourage another woman to take a step out on her own and decide to follow in their footsteps. I thought Shattered was a really inspiring um, and motivational uh, story and documentary. I'm so glad I was able to watch that, and it was really eye-opening. Um, and it's really great to see the impact that they've had with their work, and also that there's a documentary showing that impact to inspire other people and other women um, to continue shattering glass ceilings around the world everywhere. This should be used for Shattered, and this is so refreshing and I felt so inspired from watching a women governor and this five women in the state of Oregon in USA. I liked listening to the opinions and testimonials from these role models about the importance of having elected officials that really look like they represent the people who elected them the ideas behind the policies they pass, according to them, are more for the people and the overarching basic human rights compared to those that men offer or distribute or think about. Mm, women offer a unique perspective from being the main caregivers at so many uh, occasions and understanding what the world needs to move forward other than just money and power. Um, they also talked about the Emerge Oregon Initiative, which I believe is instrumental to keep the momentum going. It is absolutely necessary for girls and young women to see themselves in this type of positions to believe that it is possible. And I think they just gave the exact example of what is needed, how it is possible, as they mentioned through the film. Um, we just need to try. Um, it was showcasing truly true trailblazers, um, pioneers, as they, they call themselves. And yeah, I think this is an example we, we should show to a lot of girls anywhere in the world. And... I had a great time watching them. I felt truly inspired. Shattered. This was such a wonderful piece. I loved getting to hear from so many different voices um, of these women, getting to hear the stories of what they're doing in office, um, the changes that they're making in order to make it a very welcoming and open and um, safe place to be and to work. Um, and also hearing about, unfortunately, how a lot of these women got 
into that position, um, which was on the backs of men having different types of, of scandals and transgressions and, and all of that. Um, it's unfortunate that that is what had to happen in order to have the right people in office. Um, but they're there and they're making the most of it and they're doing an incredible job. Um, how, in, like, just how incredible to see, like, just a, a team full of women uh, making it happen. And we know that their journey to get there wasn't easy. Their journey that they're on now isn't easy. Um, but I think it's important that we we highlight this and we talk about this so that we can make change in, in other governments as well, um, in other states and towns and countries, etc. cetera. Um, I also really like how they had, they also talked about the, not only just being a woman, but being a woman of color um, and, and how that plays into the dynamics as well. Um, I just, I thought that they did a really well, well-rounded job of, of, of covering these women's stories and experiences. And it's such an important, um, story to be told. And, um, yeah, I thought it was just really well done and honest. And, uh, that's something that I really appreciated. And it really just like gives me hope that like, there are people out there who are putting in the work, doing good for this world and really having, uh, genuine, true intentions to help out you know, the people that they're working for. So I really, really love this piece. It's so nice to see one of the most progressive areas, in my opinion, of the United States also have uh, essentially this all women led community uh, really just shows a spotlight of this is something that I don't think has ever been done before. And so therefore, we have this new uh, sense of uh places to look up to, uh, you know, they uh, mentioned councilwomen such as Ruth Bader uh, Ginsburg, and uh, it just goes to show that there are a lot of opportunities of women to be in office, and more and more women are making their way uh, to make sure that their voices are heard, and it's something that's very important in the climate of 2022, uh, even. Uh, we had so many of our rights on just this election alone, and uh, to see the inspiration to bring more people to this community to really make a better difference in this world. I mean, what what more could you ask for? What more could you want, uh, you know, to try to make this place better than how you left it, like how you found it, you know? Right, shattered. So this is about obviously women in politics. Um, and I think that it's very interesting how they showed um, the sort of history of women in politics. I thought that was fascinating because it shows how sort of pro progressive, I guess, the U.S. compared to the rest of the world was when it came to women in politics. But how progressive specifically in the West, how uh, politics was in the West compared to the rest of the 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 U.S. So I think that was interesting um, and valuable that they sort of brought us um, through that um that history um so for us to sort of have that in mind and then obviously that had that in mind and then contrast that to the struggles that the women are going through still throughout the rest of the film so i think that was very important to to bring in especially for those of us who wouldn't know um uh i i do think that is very mo motivational that this film is um for women in politics um there is a specific scene where one of the politicians slash representatives says that um what they have done is modeled what it can look like for other representatives to act interact with the public. So I thought that was really interesting that they decided to make that choice because um, it just shows the effort that the women have placed or the effort the women that have uh, put in in order to get to the place that they're in, but also to uh, remain in that place. And it also shows how valuable these positions were to the women as well. Um, and I like that how they showed in the film the sort of differences between how men govern versus how women govern. Um, and that definitely comes through specifically when it comes to more family, familial stuff like having kids and being married, etc. And how they decide to navigate that. Um, yeah, that's what I thought of the film.